to another happy hour episode. Today we're doing something interesting that Alex has devised and I don't know anything about it, so <laughs> please tell me how we're playing this association game. Okay, uh, so I have a board game called Codenames Pictures. Uh, actually, Calypso introduced it to me, you know, it's really fun. It's a really and good game. So yeah, I have a bunch of little cards and they have all these kind of like surreal images on them. So I thought if we just kind of like took a look at these images and kind of just walked through like our mental process of like what we like associate with it, it would kind of exemplify the difference between an ISE style of perception and an ESI style of perception. Okay, let's start with this octopus gift thing. Okay. I think NI just needs a little bit of time, so maybe you can, like, Yeah, I don't know. Us. For some reason, my first thought was, like, uh, the Ursula, Ursula person in Little mm. Mermaid, because she has tentacles, and she's giving uh, the Little Mermaid the gift of legs or walking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I think the first thing I thought of was just, like, eating sushi in Japan. <laughs> oh, Okay, <laughs> there was some. I think yeah. I had octopus in Japan. So well, now I think of that like porn with the octopus and the woman because that's a Japanese painting. <laughs> okay, there's like a famous Japanese painting of a woman being like raped by tentacles. Well, because you said sushi in Japan, and right. then my mind went to that picture. Right. I mean, for me, it was like yeah. I think it was like an SE connection because it's like octopus. Mm. When was the last time? Oh I yeah, octopus. 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 Mine was like octopus, and I guess Ursula is not is is an octopus, but. It was a specific movie. It was, yeah, but it was specifically like the octopus plus the gift, and you tied that all right. together. So that was like very amazing to me. Okay, this is kind of surreal, actually. Yeah. Okay. So oh, okay, so I thought of luck and prosperity because every side is like just constantly winning. I don't know. Wait, is that what you're supposed to think? No, what did you so think? I thought of cheating. Oh. I thought of like this is like a trick dice that someone like switches, oh. and then they're like, Ooh, look at that. Oh. Okay, yeah, I can see that too. But that's interesting. Okay, wait, because I want to yeah, talk about how this is, like, related. So for me, it's like... So that's more, like, a real situation. Right? Yeah, exactly. It's in real life that person is cheating, but right. symbolically, it's just having prosperity. Right. And being, like, lucky or whatever. Yeah, and I think those words, like, <laughs> prosperity and luck already have such, like, yeah. a lot of it, connotation or information to, to them. Oh, and then I just right. thought of... This is kind of dumb, but I just thought of, like, Satan because of six six six. We technically oh. don't know what the other three sides are, so, you know, you, don't, you never know. <laughs> Maybe the other sides are blank. Out. Okay, so it's like a disco ball. It's like a planet. I just think of, like, Dancing Queen by Al, because I was listening to that recently, and it's like a disco <laughs> song. Very objective SE connection there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have any connections. I just have this mental image of this, like, it might be, like, that Johnny dancing guy. <laughs> I don't remember what oh, I don't remember what it's called, but I just got this mental image. But, yeah, I don't think I have any particular association. Wait, who? Is it, like, Johnny Bravo? I don't know. This, like... Is it a cartoon? Yeah, I think it's a cartoon. I don't remember what it's called, though. I don't know why I thought of that, but... Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Maybe if the thing is, like, really abstract, then you have no association. That's maybe not too abstract, but maybe if I get a picture... Of, you know, like Jackson Pollock, when I see his paintings, mm -hmm. I feel like literally nothing, but I, feel like I think he's so popular because maybe like if you're on a CNI spectrum, you just you just like it visually or right. you have some sort of feeling towards it, mm -hmm. but I like feel like nothing right. <laughs> other than modern art is pretentious. <laughs> so I definitely prefer like abstract art, but because mm -hmm. it kind of, yeah, it's like this otherworldly. It's like an SE creation, this SE visual, but something that you'd never actually see in like our reality. Except yeah, for, that's like, why I don't have any associations right. except to art itself. Right, and that's and from that somehow NI can conjure some sort of feeling of like atmosphere or mood or like right. like if someone forces me to write an right. essay about it, I could do it, but I feel like I'd be like pulling it out of my bum basically. <laughs> that's like me and every NE SI author. Yeah. <laughs> this one isn't particularly. I don't know. For some reason, this makes me think of like loose spending habits because right. like your savings are flying away on. right yeah this makes me there's a place in our city it's like a kind of gift shop called when pigs fly oh it was right that, by right. our yeah i remember that our shop. high school oh this reminds me of like summer camps that i went to and like when i was young because we would play I think oh my I god, I don't think sword. I can say, say the thing that I thought of so inappropriate. <laughs> well, even that in itself is an example of <laughs> like SI and what you thought of something that's like not associated with I know, like tennis. It is kind of like physical though, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, 
<laughs> okay, I thought of it as like you are too big to fit. Yeah, my immediate association is just like when I I actually tried a pogo stick and like when I was really young, it was like a friend's pogo stick. And then also to times when I was working in the forest and I actually saw oh. bears. <laughs> Very objective connections. Oh, I don't know. I thought of something like a precarious situation or uncertainty mm. or like not having enough support system because right. the state of the bear. <laughs> Okay, so this one I actually think of like John Lennon because of like <laughs> the, the glasses, like this, this um, type of glasses. Well, my first thought was to the Mythical Creatures video where mm. we said unicorns are <laughs> empty. Right, I thought of that too. <laughs> no, maybe this is good. It's like memory is memory. It's yeah. It's not that different. Right. And then I thought of like interspecies mating because of the bunny. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that was bunny too. This is interesting, actually, because I think SI is associated with memory, but so mm-hmm. far it's, like, mostly been, like, me going back to memories, maybe because it's, like, it's connected to, like, a real event or real thing right. in physical reality, and you go back to, like, Ooh. these general <laughs> concepts of, like... Breaking the stereotypes! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, I think SE users have, like, a really good photographic memory, mm. and the SI memory is way more subjective. Right. I guess. I don't know why I see, like, a diaper and a gas mask. Oh. So it makes me think of, like, the future is doomed or, like, we're ruining the environment. Ruining the environment, babies are in danger. I just think of, like, a child's toy, I guess. Okay, I know that's, like, a rolling pin, but mm-hmm. I thought of it as, like, a club because you could use it as a weapon, so I thought of justice is brutal. Whoa, this is really oddly specific, but I thought of, like, I think there's a strong, like, Italian community in New York, right? I don't know, for some reason the rolling pin made me think of, like, rolling dose out and, like, all the pastas that, like, she, like, Italian makes. Uh, does she remind you of the Statue of Liberty or something? Isn't it the Statue of Liberty? No. I don't think oh, so. Oh, she doesn't have a crown. She doesn't look like a statue. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was a statue. <laughs> okay, yeah, she could be like a Greek goddess or something. For some reason, yeah, I thought a statue of liberty plus... Okay, now like, I see that one side of her face is in shadow, so I feel like justice is biased too. Like, the legal system is not mm. all-seeing. Yeah, it's interesting. So I thought of like an actual physical statue that it kind of looks like. <laughs> and, and then where it is. Is. And then, yeah, that made me think of a specific community in that city. Yeah, and I, I guess I, I thought of the any concept of like justice and violence and this like right half half yeah yeah what if it's not for me all right i just thought the whole world is obsessed with sports and it sucks i really get like nothing (laughs) yeah maybe it's because i don't play sports so i have like my microcosm world the world of ants i don't know oh i guess i think i used to have a globe that was actually had that kind of like c-shaped spinny thing so i just think of being really young and like my memories playing with that globe <laughs> Civilization. Ooh, this makes me think of like Growing a future. This makes me think of a future in like the far distant future where like global warming has increased that much where Paris can like grow palm trees. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's kind of interesting. You like, you link the two SE things and formed the NI pos- possibility in the future yeah, that's possible actually projecting. possible. Right. My NE just came up with like this alternate reality or like this concept of civilization. Yeah. Mine is not possible because I said civilization in which my mind was like, oh, like building metal on top of trees is like civilization. But then they didn't actually build the Eiffel Tower by palm trees, so it was a physical impossibility. Right. <laughs> and I thought of it anyway. Right. Yeah, I think that's a big difference. That's yeah. why, like, any people are so all over the place, because even though it's not real, they still think about it. But then again, like, SENI is, like, limited by what's actually physically feasible or, like, of this world in some sense. This just makes me think of, like, maybe being in art class or yeah. kindergarten and, like, yeah. drawing these things. I think my weird memories don't say anything about anything. But this, like, spiral on the house chimney, it just made me remember this quiz where you draw a pig, and then based on how you drew the tail of the pig, it tells you about your personality. So I thought of that all of a sudden. That's interesting, though, because I wonder... I think I look at the thing holistically. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really see these separate elements, but I think you actually, like, see these separate elements. Like, I didn't even notice that the the Statue of Liberty wasn't the Statue of Liberty. The other thing was that I don't know what these two things were. I thought they looked like two thermometers, but I don't know if they are, or maybe it's something to stabilize the picture, but then there's right. tape anyway, so I don't know what that is. Whoa. 
I mean, I saw it, but I didn't give it that mental consideration of like, oh, they just take plus that, so why is that? <laughs> you just were like, well, it's generally not important. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that explains how you can read about someone describing how big the elevator is by saying you fit item A, B, C, D, E, and you're like, well, all of the items are not important. It's right. the idea that it's big, but then I'm like, all the items are important. Yeah, no, for Must me, keep all like, items in my mind. For me, it's like all these items are related to holding the picture on the stand, so they all serve the same purpose, so it's not like each individual one is distinct. It's like they're all of the same thing in my mind, right? Okay. Yeah, which, which is like why when I'm like reading five eleva- paragraphs about the elevator, it's like, yeah, all of that condenses. <laughs> all right, go to that. <laughs> so Self-image? <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just think my cat is named Wolfie because she kind of has a little... Oh, you thought of a real... Oh my yeah. god, I didn't even think of Alan's cat. Like, I thought of self-image oh, first, and then now that you talk about your cat, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm fucking as a cat. Because <laughs> this kind of reminds me of her, because she's like really like cute. So she looks really cute and sweet, but then on the inside she's like, rawr, she's like kind of vicious. Oh yeah, so she awesome. is, she is pretty vicious. <laughs> right. Or an INFP's shadow self is like an ESTJ. <laughs> is it weird that I thought of shadow self because it's a literal shadow? Like, is that SI? Ooh. Yeah, still, because the shadow to me is just like a physical, like light, like object blocking light. Oh, right. You usually don't relate physical things to things that are not that thing physically, but they share the word. Right. But like, yeah. you wouldn't associate a financial bank with a river bank, but I do. Right. Yeah, no, I would. Yeah. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah, shadow self, it's not a literal shadow, yeah. so, but I think of it because of the right. word. So, like, SI needs to kind of condense everything into this, like, symbolic internal meaning. So, in that sense, language already is that. So, I think, like, every word kind of already has, like, a database of information for you, probably, right? Yeah. And for the NISE users, words are just a means of, like, expressing our internal structure of data, which is probably mostly visual. Or just like a kind of innate knowing of like what the physical process is. Yeah. And that's why sometimes I like mix up words and you're like, what? I don't like know what I'm saying. So I don't know. I don't know. My mind just goes everywhere. I thought of like the butterfly clips that I just bought. And I thought of like attraction because I don't know. I thought of fair, like the teacup is like sending out fumes. And then I thought of like misguidance because there's. I thought that the butterflies were supposed to fly in a cloud, but this looks like a cloud, so they flew in. I thought of just like pollination because butterflies are pollinators, and I guess tea or whatever is in the teapot is probably some sort of plant. So it's like the. Mm. Butterfly connecting with the plant, and that would be like pollination. Pollination is actually possible, but a bunch of butterflies being drawn to, like, attracted to a teapot and being misguided. Yeah. I don't think that actually happens. Yeah. The idea is true in an any sense, like, that idea right. can be expressed, but it's not actually real. Like, no butterflies is ever going to be, like, attracted to the mist of a teapot because they look like clouds. Like, right. that's what right. I said, but the butterfly is never going to do that. Yeah, so yours is more accurate. I think with SE, like, connections are made based on real connections and physical reality. And so for any, it's, like, connections are based on, like, thematic ideas. Okay, so I thought of this as a paper fan that you fold, and the leaf is like made out of paper, so it's kind of like this loop. I would have never even noticed that because (laughs) that's not even important to the whole. (laughs) (laughs) The leaf is born, and then it becomes condensed into paper and then folded to help the leaf. I don't know, it's like the circle of life. That's so interesting because I just see it as like a kite that is a leaf. And that little end part has, like, no bearing. To well, it is a kite. kite that's a leaf. Yeah. Like, I, I saw that part. But it's just interesting that my NI is like, nope, that doesn't have any <laughs> connection to anything, so I'm just, like, going to block it out. So when you pointed that out, I was like, oh, it is a fan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know something. Yeah, I'm just noticing that the... I thought these were bows, but now that I look closer, they're actually fans. Look. Oh, <laughs> my fans. God. <laughs> I guess what I think of is like my mom taught me the saying. So now, like, now I think of mom and a bunch of babies, Aww. like the mother hen and a bunch of chicks. Yeah, my mom taught me this thing of like taking a leaf and then between the veins you can like remove these little things and then get okay. this little like feather thing. Well, that's so interesting. You're still talking about the leaf, about the physical nature of the yeah, leaf. Yeah, but I'm like, oh, like a hen and chicks. So it's like the shape is symbolic of that, even though it's yeah. not true. Like it's not a chicken; it's a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm going to plant people there. You guys, let us know in the comments um, what kind of associations you made with all of these things that we'll show you on the screen. Because yeah. that will be really cool to hear more about, like, yeah, what you guys, what axis you're on and what kind of associations you made. Yeah, and do you, like, agree with the patterns yeah. that we came up with or, like, the conclusions that we're supposed to infer from my axis versus yeah. your axis? Yeah, let us know. And if you like our content, uh, you can consider pledging your support on Patreon. And we also offer typing services at cognitive8.com if you want to be visually typed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.